Hi, it's Robin again. With um, this being the last day of 2016, I just wanted to take a little time in this video. I, I hope it doesn't end up being too long. And just showing how I documented my life last year. Um, I started out, this is just a composition book. There's a glare. There we, oh, there we go. Um, this is just a regular composition book. This is a uh, printed off paper, like scrapbook paper, paper that I purchased from online. Um, pretty much everything here is. These are scrapbook papers that came in the 12 by 12 packs that I would just every once in a while cut one out with my tab punch. Anyway, and um, so I decorated it up, 2016 journal, and I thought, okay, this is going to be the one place where I write about what's going on in my life, how I feel, my ideas. Um, a lot of it ends up being kind of like prayer because I'll write, oh, Lord, what a day. Help me to be uh, more patient, which you know that you're never supposed to pray for patience because when you do, watch out. Um, the only way to learn patience is through trial. We know that. I do now. Uh, when I had my first child, I said, oh, Lord, please, I need patience. I ended up with five more. So that is how I learned what little bit that I have now or, you know, learned some patience is, yeah, through trial. So anyway, um, so here's my book. I just wanted to show you. How I started out, um, I don't really want anything to be read because some of it's a little personal. I get down and dirty when I write, especially when I'm angry. And um, so, you know, I started out, I would put some pictures in here. I have a little Fuji Instax camera. This was my grandson's birthday. And um, I would do a little bit of some nice writing and coloring with colored pencils. Um... Uh, some good markers. I like the, um, which, oh, now I can't remember what they are. I'll think of it later, but I like a couple different markers. They're pretty good. I always wrote the, the temperature and what it was doing outside. You know, I mean, someday my kids can look back on this. Then they'll say, wow, mom was really angry that day. <laughs> but, you know, first, like I said, I started out just writing. Then I started getting a little more artistic with it. Let's go into, let's see. Here's March. Trying out some sprays, the Heidi Swap sprays, which I love. But um, I learned that I had to write over the spray, not write and then spray. <laughs> yeah, lesson learned. I was writing in pencil because I thought, you know, I um, I don't, sometimes my writing is pretty sloppy and I have to erase and redo, but I was trying to be neat about it. Um, here, look at, I didn't color in anything. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, I had gotten some perfume. I found Prada candy is my favorite perfume. My husband paid $100 for a small bottle for Christmas for me um, last year. And I used that stuff up like it was water. Well, then I found out that our local Alta store has it for $38 for just a hair smaller than the other one. Um, <clears throat> here's an example of me maybe being a little bit more art artistic. Uh, tells you what I did that day, blah, blah. Making today a good day. Um... Here we go, just some writing. I was doing a little bit of sketching and trying a different layout for doing the front, you know, the top part of the pages. Uh, here we go. Let's see. A mm, little bit more artistic, maybe. See, I'm, I'm not watching as close as I should, so I don't know how well this is recording. Here we go. This was close to my birthday. So I was getting kind of excited, and I had some things that I wanted to do. Uh, made some piece of a puzzle over there. Uh, bright page, very bright page. Ooh, and I think it says a bad name, bad word there. You didn't see that. Um, this is just doing a little bit here and there. 
I did this. Some pretties. Uh, I did get pretty artistic there at one point. You know, I was really trying to uh, make it nice, add a little to it, even if I didn't have much to say. Like, what a wonderful, perfect weather for the first day of September. Oh, I've remained busy, focused on my punch needle art. I was working on punch needle, doing my primitive art to sell. Uh, some flowers for September. Let's see. Oh, that's a pretty busy page there. Nice oh, October, my favorite time of year. So I was excited, as you can see. Trying out different. I, you know, there were colored pencils, different markers, a little bit of watercolor, although watercolor likes to seep through this paper, and I didn't glue any pages together. Um, here we go. November, 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 and you will notice that the last time I wrote in here was November because I made a December journal, a separate one, which I did show in a live video on uh, Facebook, but I'll have to do another video of that one. Then I wanted to show what else I was working on this past year. Um, that won't help when it's on the ground. Let's see, here's my other sketchbook. Uh, just to give a little idea of a few things. What I do in here is I just have ideas. Um, these I made into paintings. Let's see. Drawing some people, which I didn't like very well. Some ideas. Where did they go? A dog, which I <laughs> terrible animals. Oh, unless I make them like this. Whimsical, you know. Uh -oh. Let me see. Is that better? There we go. I ended up making two paintings, watercolors of these. And I may actually do them uh, in acrylics on uh, canvas or something this spring. But uh, here's just one of my doing a wooden horse there. You know, this, just the kind of stuff I do. I started a black and white doodle booklet, which I could recover this because it was just some whatever it was. Um, let's see, doing some, I was practicing some lettering. Then I got excited about Christmas. That was November, but look at, I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus under the mistletoe. A friend of mine on Facebook said, can you make one for baby? It's cold outside and... That's what I came up with. Nothing too spectacular. Uh, let's see. I was working in so many different things. Um, I've got to reach down here real quick and grab this. I started out doing the Documented Life Project. And what they called it was the Unplanner. So, I mean, there was some artwork involved, you know, and different things. It's messed up here. But, uh, wow, this really isn't picking up too great, is it? I don't know if you can see this. The glare's bad. Uh, I was doing some kind of artwork, a tag and this. It has, this was my background paper that I used on the table. And I used that first. There was a, a theme with a lot of these. This one was supposed to be stay on track, so I did the arrow. And I, that was just a like a almost like a um, uh, art journal page. I did uh, drawing, this drawing, this. I did um, these balloons. There was supposed to have it was supposed to be kind of a. Uh, some meaning behind it. Uh, if you see the hand reaching for the balloons, it was like my balloons were out of reach. <laughs> I, I felt like I couldn't quite grasp what it was that I wanted to do with my art. And here were some of the uh, calendar pages I did for January and just fixed them up with some scrapbook papers and some doodles and uh, different things, some stamps. These were papers that I had done some abstract art, and then, you know, you, you try to see the images in the art and then, um, uh, you know, make something out of them. So this was, like, just blah, blah, blah lines, and I thought, oh, I'll make that a flower, you know. 
Uh, this was a list of books that had an influence in my life. The Bible, fun with Dick and Jane, because, you know, when I was young, that is what they used. I went to Catholic school, and that's what they used to teach us to read. And it was pretty much, I think, the old way was all phonics. But, yeah, so that had a really big impact on my life. I, I believe it really um, taught us. Death and Dying. My mother passed away when I was 15. And uh, I took the class, Death and Dying, in high school because of that. And the book was just amazing. It just, it really impacted me. Uh, Tale of Two Cities, Left Behind, Woman Thou Art Loosed by T.D. Jakes, Late Great Planet Earth, uh, kind of a uh, prophetic thing. Um, let's see, uh, Christmas Carol. Oh, you know, to watch the movies, I love every movie they've ever made of the Christmas Carol. But to read the book um, and read the words as Dickens wrote them is just, I don't know, something about it. Miss Twiggly's Tree was a book that I found. I don't know, somebody had given it to me and I read it to all of my children. It has a wonderful, acute moral at the end of it, you know, almost like an Aesop's fable. But anyway, um, and then when I wanted to find it later on for my grandchildren, because I don't know what happened to the book, it was out of print. And then one day I was perusing on Amazon and found it. And so I purchased that and read it to my grandchildren. And then uh, here's one, had a big impact. Drawing Lab by Carla Sondheim. A lot of people know her, very well-known artist, and she teaches classes. But the book just had this really neat impact as far as it freed me, drawing and doodling and whatnot. And I, I loved it. Uh, got the February, did the blah, blah, blah. And that's funny that I think... I, think that I only got to February, and I thought, you know, I just, um, I don't know why I felt I couldn't keep up. I, I'm a comparison person. Comparison is the thief of joy. Take that to heart, people, because it stopped me from doing so many things. And comparison to these people that had this beautiful, perfect art, uh, some of it was wild and crazy. Some of it was just perfect fine art drawings that they would do on these pages and I just felt like I couldn't compare and I, I gave up on it and I don't think I want to do that to myself anymore um, real quick here's another this is just a, what I really 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 enjoy is watercolor this is just some weird stuff I had taken a class and uh, she said just take a couple pages and Pick any color, even the ones you don't like, which if you notice my mixed media art, I don't use red very much. I don't use this kind of green, and I definitely don't use brown. Now, those are all colors that I've used for years in my artwork for uh, primitive folk art. But I broke away from that, and so I thought, okay, these are the colors I don't like, so there you go. Um, I'm just doing a sketch of a, of a flower, which, see, I'm not good when it comes to fine art sketches, and, and that's just not my thing. I like the whimsical, unrealistic look. But that was done with a mechanical pencil. Then she said do it in fine charcoal, which I'd never touched fine charcoal before. I do like the way it smears, and you can do that with, of course, with pencil too, but it was just a little too eh for me. Uh, did a couple little uh, sketches. Um, a Sharpie, my pin cushion, a tube of Liquitex paint, I think, I don't know. And I realized, look at how terrible, look at how terrible that is. That does not look like a real bottle of ink. And it's supposed to say Bombay. But see, I love this stuff. Just cartoonish, illustration-ish. That wasn't too bad. Uh, that was a little guy I kind of did for, it got a little bit better. See? Uh, yeah, that ink bottle wasn't too bad. Then I drew my cup. November 23rd, I was playing around, and I didn't put the things in it, but let's see if I can get out of the way. And where is the lighting going to hit that? There we go. Anyways, that's the cup I was trying to draw without a lot of the words. Uh, so, let's see. So... Sketching a little bit and watercolor definitely because I love watercolor. 
I think I might have to hurry up. This video might... You know what? I think right now I'm going to cut this off and say I will get back to you. And see my messy table? I love it. Talk to you later. Bye.